Hey good people, welcome back to Frizz and Fragrance. My name is Kara, and whether you're new or returning, thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me for another one today. I am so excited about this video because it's a collab with two of my, I would say fragrance besties, to be honest with you. Alicia Budget Beauty, let me just pop up a picture here. She has a beauty channel, but she does fragrance on her channel as well and she loves fragrance and then my girl kelly over at keep beauty real we do our byop eyeshadow palettes every month and she also loves fragrance so the three of us are collabing to do a transition to fall fragrance video and i'm so 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 excited if you want to hear about 15 transition to fall fragrances Keep watching this video, let me know what you think, and come on down the fragrance rabbit hole with me because we smell good over here. All right, let's get into it. How are you? I hope you're doing well. I cannot complain. My dad just left, my sister just left, my nephews, so we were just kind of hanging out today. Summer seems to have left us really quickly. Here. One day it was hot and the next day we just had this like chilly weather in the morning the weather feels good to me but people are like it's so cold i'm like no it feels really really great getting into that hoodie weather soon and i am i am so excited for it because i love the fall when i accepted this collab i was thinking like what does it mean for a fragrance to be transitioned to fall i am new to the fragrance community my channel is very new so this is the first time i'm doing something like this what a transition to fall fragrance means for me is a fragrance that is deeper and is warmer, but still has some of the summery elements. And when I think about summery elements, I think about fruits and citruses and, and just more fun it, when it comes to fragrance. So I picked out 15 that I think embodies those characteristics. And I hope that you like these choices and if you don't, I, I would love to know what would you consider a transition to fall fragrance? I would love to know because I'm, I love learning about fragrances and, you know, entering in this community. There's so much to learn. So let me know what you think about my choices and let's go ahead and get started. Please don't forget to check out Alicia Budget Beauty. Amazing. Kelly over at Keep Beauty Real, they are amazing content creators. So their videos will be linked in the description box. All right, so let's get into it. When I first thought about a transition to fall fragrance, the first one I thought about was Bitter Peach from Thomas Ford. My Tom Ford Bitter Peach has definitely seen better days, y'all. I will be using Fragrantica, so I'm gonna scoot over. Tom Ford Bitter Peach is one of the earlier fragrances that I got into. I had a really good friend on YouTube that sent me a decan of this, and I was in love with it from first sniff. So Tom Ford Bitter Peach has top notes of peach, blood orange, cardamom, and heliotrope. In the mid, there's rum, cognac, divana, and jasmine. In the base, there's a lot of notes. We have vanilla, Indonesian, patchouli, tonka bean, sandalwood, benzoin, cashmere, and styrax, labdanum, and vetiver. When I smell this fragrance, I smell peach and a creamy vanilla. So it takes it from being just a fruity scent to a fruity, creamy scent. And I associate my colder weather fragrances with more creamy notes. Also the rum in there, when I think about fall, I think about Killian Angel Share. So there's that rum in that fragrance as well. And this has a combo of the peach and the rum with the vanilla. And it's a fragrance that lasts a long time on me. I'm, I'm always just so pleased with Bitter Peach and without even pulling out fragrances, Bitter Peach is one that I picked out. I think this is a great transition to fall fragrance because you do have that peach note, which to me, it's like summer vibes. It's just nice and warm and, and boozy and rummy and it just makes me happy. So that was my first choice for this uh, collab. Everything else is not ranked, but this is the one that kind of started off how I felt about transition to fall fragrances. We're gonna hold on to the fruitiness of summer and add some depth and warmth 
to the fall. So let's go on to fragrance number two. Fragrance number two is brand new to my collection. And this is a blueberry bundt cake from Bath and Body Works. The notes are very simple here. We've got blueberry, we have cake, and we have a honey drizzle. I think they said fluffy cake on the bottle. Cherry is my favorite note. I would say vanilla is my second favorite note, but I'm a huge fan of blueberry and I think when you mix it with the cake and the creamy notes it makes it a fragrance that feels warmer gourmand and I, I love it I just love the idea of blueberry bun cake now I haven't really worn this too much at this time so I can't speak too much on it I do want the body cream but I did get the blueberry bunt cake for $5.95 and the cream was not on sale. This reminds me of when I was younger, there was a box cake mix called ragamuffins. They had a blueberry recipe and a cinnamon recipe, but the blueberry ragamuffins were so good. That's what this reminds me of, those ragamuffins. And they were so cheap. They were like 25 cents for the like the box. So this one has a bit of nostalgia for me. It's just very comforting. It doesn't feel super heavy, but it doesn't feel summery either. You can smell the blueberry. It lingers around. There's that cake, you know, nice and uh, fluffy and vanilla. It's really nice. I don't really get a lot of honey. I don't really prefer honey, to be honest. So I'm okay with not smelling that but I wanted to include this one in my video because I really am enjoying it and I think layering it with the body cream would be even nicer. So I do wanna add that one to my collection. So now Blueberry Bun Cake from Bath and Body Works. Now fragrance number three, I'm not sure if this one's popular or not, but I do know a lot of people know about it. This is Acro's Bake. And when I think about Acro Bake, I think about Ice Lemon Pound Cake from Bath & Body Works. If you like any type of sugary lemon scent, if you like the one that came out from KLE, that one, Devotion from Dolce Gabbana, there was one from the Forever Mood collection. I can't remember which one. I wanna say it's hard to get the yellow one. You would love Acro Bake. It has notes of uh, lemon zest and rum. There's whipped cream and praline, and there's bourbon, vanilla, and brown sugar. I'm getting covered a lot. He's coughing a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go check on him. Thank you for telling me, Marky. It's very lemony, lemon cream, lemon cream pie. I love this because when I think about summery scents, I think about the citrus, you know, oranges and lemons, and I think about a lot of the fruits, these bright fragrances, but this one still has a lot of brightness to it, but it's gourmand and it's, it's heavier, it's warmer. And I think that the creaminess and the whipped cream really adds something to it. I don't really get a whole lot of rum, but this one is very special. It is the first fragrance that I've smelled that smells like this. And I love the lemon in here. It's, it's very, very lemony. So if you like lemon and scent, I think you would really love this. So fragrance number three is gonna be Lipstick Fever. This one is by Juliet Has a Gun, and I love this one. When I think about this fragrance, I think about raspberry and woods. It has top notes of raspberry and violet. It has mid notes of iris and patchouli and base notes of cedar and vanilla. So I believe that the iris note is what causes it to smell like lipstick, and it does smell like that. But then there's this raspberry note and then the cedar gives it more grounding because it's a, a woodsy note. And I just think it's a really special fragrance. I'm not sure how I discovered this fragrance. If I had to think of my favorite, Juliet has a gun fragrance and I have like four of them. This one's probably my favorite. I think it's fruity, but it's not overly fruity. I think it does smell like lipstick. It gives this transition to fall vibe because you have the, the raspberry there, but you have patchouli and vanilla and cedar. It's, it's a really nice fragrance. It's, I really enjoy wearing this one. If you like woodsy notes, but you like a little bit of fruits, I think Lipstick Fever could be a win, a win for you. Let's move on to fragrance number five. I'm really excited to talk about this one. 
This one is a strawberry letter from Fleur. I do have this in the full size as well. And this one came out, I want to say before summertime. However, I don't feel like it's a summertime fragrance. I feel like almost like a lipstick fever. It's like a strawberry woods. So when we look at the notes, we have top notes of strawberry, plum, and cassis, middle notes of red poppy, apple blossom, and lily. And there are earthy notes in the base. There's sugar, tonka bean, and amber. This one, again, is a, a fruity fragrance, but there's just something in it that, that stops it from being purely a spring summertime scent, in my opinion. And that's, that's the woods. I really like this one. I like it a lot, actually. Um, it, it's really different. And Fleur, you know, they have my baby father figure, but that's like more of a like true fall winter scent. So I wasn't going to include it. But to me, this one smells like strawberry and apple. But there's an earthiness to it. It's like an earthy strawberry. It's not like a body spray strawberry or a... Um, like a strawberry shortcake or an artificial strawberry. I'm not, I'm not saying that. It's okay. Hey, it's very earthy. It's sugary. Not, I don't get every I'm single saying, note. Yeah, I, I wanted to watch my, the computer. And okay, you can do that. There's a little bit of a creaminess to this one. It's sugary. There's tonka bean. There's amber. And I just think that strawberry letter is not a summer scent. I, I never have thought that it was a summer scent. But when it came out, strawberry, like it sounds summery, but I feel like that even about mood ring, which I've decided I don't think I like mood ring. I don't think I do. But strawberry letter is, is, is that girl. I think this is a great transition to fall fragrance. And I think it's one that you can layer with one of your favorite fall fragrances just to keep that fruitiness in there. So yeah, that's going to be my next one, y'all. Strawberry letter by Fleur. I love me some Fleur. I still want heavy cream. So let me know if you have that. I, I'd love to know your thoughts on that one. Okay, y'all, I love this fragrance. Hold on, let me look it up. Number six is I Am Trash. This is by Etat Libdange. I don't know if I said that right. Kelsey, let me know. This is a woody fragrance, but it's woody. It's very fruity as well. So this one has the notes of apple, iso e, super, acaiagal wood, rose, sandalwood, and atlas cedar. And when I smell this, I think about a woody apple shampoo. Those are my initial thoughts on I Am Trash. I had a sample of this and I liked it so much that I bought the full bottle. I think it's called I Am Trash because what they use for this fragrance is like upcycled parts of fruits or something like that. So I love the name because you think I am trash is going to smell bad. So it's shampooy, right? Like a shampooy apple. So all of my fragrances are going to pretty much have a theme because that's just my interpretation. If you can get your hands on a sample of I Am Trash, I think you would really, really love it. I haven't tried all of the fragrances from Attack uh, Lieb d'Orange, but I've tried a few, like Fat Electrician. I really like that one too. So you almost have to look into the backstory of these fragrances to see would this be something you would consider purchasing? And I love this. I, I never, ever regret purchasing I Am Trash. I think it is so beautiful. Let me know if you've tried it. Now I do have some duas in this video. So I'm gonna talk about this one called Cherry Hookah. And this is a dupe for Vice Bomb by Simone Andrioli. The notes are cherry, red fruits, caramel, vanilla, sugar, ylang ylang, tonka, amber, and precious woods. And I, you know, I don't know the specifics on the red fruits or the precious woods. All I will say is most times I'm going to like cherry scents. Oh my gosh, this, the cherry in here, and this might turn some people away from it, but it almost reminds me of a Luden's cough drop syrupy cherry. I love it. I absolutely love it. And it might be that reason <laughs> that I love it. It's sugary. There's ylang ylang. I don't smell caramel, which I'm totally okay with. It's an ambery cherry. So when I think about cherry ambition from the seven virtues or burning cherry from kali i think this would go in that family there's something a little floral here but not much 
I just think this one smells great. I know I paid $22 for this one. And the longer my duas sit, the better they smell. This one smells great. So I am so happy to have this one in my collection. And I think this is a great transition to fall fragrance. Fragrance number seven is going to Daisy Love Pop from Marc Jacobs and look at this bottle. I think this is so, so pretty. He came out with three of these at one time. This is the only one that I purchased. So the notes in this one are cloudberry and bergamot for the top. I don't know what cloudberry smells like. We have whipped cream and pistachio for the mid and base notes of benzoin and musk. So this one is gonna be a very, very creamy fragrance but there are some fruits in the top notes that I think will make this not a cold weather. Uh, oh my gosh, I wanna say fair weather. Fair. I wanna be your fair weather, weather. I'll be there to the end, even in stormy weather, time and time again. <laughs> if you know, you know. I, I ain't even gonna apologize. Too late to apologize. So, Johnny Gill. Okay, this one's very creamy. I have a feeling, cause I haven't worn this one like that. This one's not super long lasting, but it's very light, it's very airy, it's very whipped creamy, but there's something fruity in here. There's that pistachio. I'm trying to think of what this reminds me of because it does remind me of something, but it, it's light, it's creamy. I think this is gonna be a great layering scent. But I wanted to bring this out, especially because I haven't really worn it like that to even give it a chance. But it's not super, super heavy. I like this. I really do. I can see this one being almost like a base layering scent for so many, actually for all of the other scents that I described here or that I, I talked about here, this one's great. So let me know if you purchased the Marc Jacobs Daisy Love Pop. And remember, it's the one that only has one flower because he has one that has two and one that has three. Again, perfect uh, transition to fall fragrance for me. Fragrance number eight is going to be Vanilla Candy Rock Sugar 42 from Kali. You can already see that I love this. I love the vanilla of it, but what keeps it summery for me is the bubble gum. And I'm so obsessed with that as a note. So since then I bought one from Duet and I bought a small one from Moschino, the toy one that has the bubble gum. I love bubble gum in a fragrance. It's so fun. Bubble gum is to me, warm weather out and about. It's very playful. And I, I'm, I'm really liking that in the vanilla rock candy. So we have notes of vanilla, pear, marshmallow, rum, violet leaves, and ylang ylang in the top. In the mid, we have bubble gum, jelly bean, caramel, jasmine, labdanum. And in the base, we have sugar, patchouli, tonka, cashmere wood, vetiver, and sandalwood. This is just such a fun fragrance. It's so fun. It's unique. It's different. Kelly has other vanilla scents. This one manages to be different. I do love the... Um, Yum pistachio, there's vanilla in that one, but I love this. I am gonna end up purchasing this in a, a bigger size. Really happy to have this and just love how that bubble gum plays with the vanilla. I'm so happy to include this one on our list. This next fragrance, y'all, this is one of my favorite fragrances, not just from Dua, but just one of my favorites in general. And this one is Fig and Vanilla. So sometimes like with figs, it can be more of a green type of scent situation. And we don't get that in here. Like you get the fig and you get the vanilla and it's very creamy. We have top notes of vanilla, tonka bean, iris, fig, musk, mandarin orange. Oh, these are just all the notes actually. Tolu, balsam, almond, divana, and rose. This one is so good and it's strong. It is strong. And that makes me happy. It is creamy. It's not super green. I just love how this smells together. It almost feels like there's something lemony in here as well, but there's no uh, lemon note here. This will go great with Acros Bake. I have loved it from first sniff. It, it keeps it summery, like with the uh, orange, you know, in the fig. 
Devon is a very sweet smelling fragrance. But then you have the vanilla, the tonka bean, and the musk, and the rose, and those make it a little bit heavier. So I think this is the perfect transition to fall vanilla if you're looking for something like that. It is really, really beautiful, and I'm so happy to have it. Now, I do want to tell you what this is a dupe for in case you have the real thing. It says it's inspired by Fou de Bengal by Les Quindy. So I'm not familiar with that fragrance house, but if it smells anything like this, I'm sure I would love the OG. I just picked it from the notes. Let's go ahead and move on to our next fragrance. All right, our next fragrance for Transition to Fall is gonna go to Cafe Heartache from Imaginary Authors. Hey y'all, it's editing Kara here. I know I look a mess. <laughs> I'm laughing because I'm trying to figure out why I keep saying Cafe Heartache is Cape Heartache. I must have been getting really sleepy by this point because I'm like, girl, what? What is that accent? It's from Cafe Heartache. It's Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors. This is a really interesting one. This one has fir, strawberry, pine tree, woody notes, vanilla, and hemlock. I always call it Strawberry Christmas or Christmas in my Michael Jackson voice. It smells like pine and strawberry and... I don't know where I would be wearing this fragrance. I do wear it, but I'm just trying to think about what uh, environment I would describe, but definitely a forest or something like that in the fall. I want to say in North Carolina, I might just be making stuff up, but I love this, the strawberry in this, it is so good. And with the pine, I'm telling you, when I say strawberry Christmas, if you've ever smelled this, you would agree. That's what it smells like. It's strawberry and there's the pine in there. Those are the two notes that stand out. And it just reminds me of like, if I was spending Christmas or Thanksgiving or something in like a log cabin. That's what I think about when I think about Cafe Heartache. This will be what I'd put on. And the sweetness of the strawberry is so good. Like it's not an artificial strawberry and neither is that pine smell. It's very sweet, but it's not overly sweet. I just, oh my gosh. This makes me want to be in one of those cabins, those big cabins that like sleep a lot of people and they have like the hot tub and all that. That's what this reminds me of. Always love this one from Imaginary Authors. I wasn't really sure where to categorize it. And I think Transition to Fall is perfect. It's like for one of those end of the summer hikes. If you're going to do a hike or something like that, I didn't do one. But if you were gonna do something like that, I feel like that's where this would fall in. Like, I think it's so different and so interesting. So that is our next one. And now the next one I have is a dupe for Amuage Sunshine Woman. And this one is called Mrs. Sunshine and it's by Dua. Let me give you the notes. Almond, black currant, Artemisia, Osmanthus, vanilla, magnolia, and jasmine, white tobacco, papyrus, patchouli and juniper and I love this one because it's a sunny scent to me it's solar and there's a little bit of something that could be somewhat spicy but it's not like Tom Ford tobacco vanille it's not heavy you know and I think Sunshine Woman is such a, a good name I have smelled original one and I didn't smell much of a difference between the two, but this is like a solar spicy fragrance. It's not like there's cinnamon or anything in here, but there is something in here that has a little bit of like a kick to it. And that's what I think is great for transition to fall. There's still some nice sunny elements, some fruity elements that we still wanna experience. And wow, I really like Mrs. Sunshine. We have three more left, so let's get into them now. All right, so next we have a newer one from Dua that's in my collection. This one's called Oolong Tea, and this is an aromatic green fragrance. We have notes of bergamot orange, mandarin orange, lychee tea, nutmeg, fig, and musk. And when I smelled this, I was just like, Wow, what season, where, where would this go? And I think it goes in transition to fall. It's not super heavy, but it's not a summery scent. What I smell in this is a lot of orange and some fig, but there's the tea note. It's, it's fruity, but it's a little bit musky, but not too musky. 
and I think this just smells great. The citruses in this is what really attracts me to this fragrance. And I think it's gonna be a lighter scent for fall, but a really nice one to wear to transition you on over. It's musky, it almost smells a little bit woody. They said there's nutmeg in there, and I agree with that, but it's not a whole lot. I think the citrus notes really take over this one. So I like the name Aromatic Green. Wow, it's like, it's not super summery, it's, it's deeper, you know? So that's my idea of a transition to fall fragrance. I really like this one. So number 14 is gonna be Amber Vanilla and this one is from The Seven Virtues. Now this one's a great scent to layer with but you can also wear it by itself but it's so great to layer with. We have top notes of pink pepper, middle notes of carnation and li lily of the valley, and then base notes of iso e super, vanilla, ambroxan, and musk. And I just really love this one for layering. This one is a nice wearable fall vanilla. Cause I thought about vanilla woods and I'm like, ah, oh, vanilla woods is so heavy. Like it's tobacco-y and this one, would be more, it's not the same, but more along the lines of like a Vanilla 28 from KLE. It's very light. It's gonna be a really great base fragrance. It's so easy, but it doesn't feel super heavy. It still feels lightweight. I think in the summer we wear more lightweight fragrances. I could be just talking a whole bunch of trash. I don't know, but that's what my thinking is. And this one smells heavier but not super heavy. And I think this is gonna be great to layer with so many other fragrances. Probably all of the ones that we talked about today, the Ambery Vanilla could go with. So really happy about that. And we have one more left. Last but not least, I'm gonna end with a newer one to my Dua collection, and this is Matcha Licious. This one has notes of green tea, bergamot, mandarin orange, jasmine, mate, orange blossom, white chocolate, oak moss, and cedarwood. And it is an inspo from Matcha Meditation by Mason Margella, Mason Martin Margella. So I just thought I would like that. Something that, oh, it's really sweet. Oh my gosh. I'm not sure what I thought this would smell like. It's really sweet. Bergamot for sure. Orange for sure. White chocolate for sure. Oh my gosh, I really smell the white chocolate. It's an odd combo actually. Those are the notes I smell. Oh wow, white chocolate. I can't believe I smell that. It's really sweet, but there's something else going on and that's, that's where I'm at. Like it's something else going on with this, but it's sweet. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all. So those are my 15 transition to fall fragrances and I'm sure I could find more, but I wanted to narrow it down. I cannot wait to see what my friends chose. I I'm really excited to go over to their videos. Let me know again, do you have transition fragrances? Have you tried any of the ones that I have mentioned here? And what do you think about me including them in this list? And that's going to be it. I do hope that you choose to watch Alicia's video and Kelly's video. Thank you so much for including me in this collab. I'm really excited. I really do hope this was therapy for you all because it definitely is for me. Until I see you again, make sure you're being gentle with yourself. Talk to yourself. Nice. Stay safe. I will see y'all really, really soon. Bye.